Solomon. Yes. King Solomon is mm -hmm. in the Old Testament. Yep. And we can read in different places, mainly 1 Kings chapter 1 to yeah. 11. Mm -hmm. And his name, the name Solomon means peace. Nice. Nice. Mm. And Solomon is also the son of King David mm. and the next king of Israel. Mm. He also wrote the books of Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and Song of Solomon, also known as Song of Songs. That's right. And um, did you also know uh, that David making mm -hmm. his son Solomon king is unusual? Why? Well, since Solomon was his 10th son, oh, and that honor usually falls on the oldest son. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. But David promises Bathsheba that her son Solomon will be king after he dies. That's right. Bathsheba is the mother of Solomon, right? Remember the affair yep. David had? And, yeah. And now David is very old, mm -hmm. right? And yep. But before he, before he dies, he arranges, you know, he, for Solomon to take over as king. Mm -hmm. However, his other son, mm -hmm. Adonijah, uh, does it in his own strength, uh, takes it upon himself to become king. Oh, dear. Without even notifying his father and his officials. Oh, wow. Wow. Mm. Yeah, that was a bad move on his part. No kidding. Needless to say, his plans fell apart when his father David hears what he's up to. Yeah. And King David moves quickly and gets his officials to publicly anoint Solomon. Yep. As king of Israel before David dies. Yes, that's right. And, and when Adonijah finds out, he is scared to death. Mm-hmm. But there's a lot more to that story. I'm sure there is. Anyways, Solomon is now king, and it looks like he's following in his father's footsteps. He is completely devoted to God and builds an elaborate temple for him. That's right. And, uh, well, now there's peace throughout the land. Yeah. Uh, for Solomon's kingdom mm -hmm. and all the Israelite people at that at that moment. Yes, yes. And and Solomon prays to God for great wisdom to rule over his people. And God not only answers that prayer, but also gives him fame and great riches. That's right. Uh, that's something Solomon didn't ask for, but... Mm -hmm. It's conditional, you know, provided Solomon keeps God's laws yep. and commandments. Yes. Yeah. That's amazing. Life could not be better for Solomon and his people. Very true. But uh, too much fame and riches can also be a problem. Yes, I agree. Solomon is attracted to pagan women. He had well over 700 wives and concubines. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I know. And... What happens is over time is that Solomon's heart turns away from God and God is not happy. Actually, God is angry. Yeah, yeah, this is the turning point in Solomon's life and eventually in the lives of the Israelite people. What is the outcome of his disobedience and what happens to the nation of Israel? That's a good question. And what lessons are to be learned? Despite Solomon's shortcomings, is there a glimmer of hope? Real people, real events. Check it out. <laughs> 